So, uh, yeah, what's up, guys? I'm just uh, making this quick video, or actually, I'll try to make it short. Uh, but it might take a few minutes, though, to explain what right now I think is the best build. I haven't completed it, but uh, it's getting close to it. Uh, I'm gonna get to it uh, real quick, and I have two builds to show, actually. This one's gonna be the build for gunfight and group support, also. And I have the scent, uh, the sticky bomb build after, which is coming on a different video. Uh, let's first start with this one, uh, the one which is a uh, four set piece, because I think four set piece is now the way to go. Even if some people might try to do uh, three piece, two piece, or three three uh, whatever, or two two two. I don't know if some people do it, but uh, anyway, let me tell you why I think uh, four piece is better. First of all, uh, you get the four-piece set bonus for, I'd say Sentry is the best one, or actually the most useful, because it's a group support, uh, like a buffing for yourself and for your group. Uh, you get extra headshot damage once you do, uh, you put two set piece. The three is for PvE or just DZ when you kill bosses, it, it's less, it, le it affects way less uh, the PvP aspect of the game but uh this, the last one it's pretty much uh unpassable you really want this it's 15 percent increased damage when you headshot somebody uh and it stack up to three time refresh every time you do another headshot the 10 second or refresh if i'm not wrong uh it might be removing one mark at the time but i think they all goes off at the same time if they goes down so i think it just refresh it and it give it to the old group because it says increase the damage inflicted on the target by 15% for duration of 10 seconds. Each uh, target can receive up to 3 marks. So, And your friend can see the marks. So it affects the whole group. Everybody that's shooting them. Even like if you guys like to group up at 8 uh, to kill people in the dark zone. I think it's pretty cheap shot. But some, some of you might like it and have a big circle of friends. And... Uh, this is uh, pretty good because it affects every player that shoots this target, not only your group. Everybody sees the mark. It pretty much put a nerf on the guy. And the reason why I'm saying 4-piece is better than 3-2 uh, or 4-2, uh, it's because you still need the yellow pair of gloves. Uh, they're selling a blueprint on the safe house, by the way. Uh, it's a level 32 right here that I'm wearing. Uh, I got a decent roll, not too big. I crafted a couple, but right now it's really expensive and I'm running out of pouches. So, yep, uh, you need the talent uh, Savage still if you're playing with your gun, uh, which I am with this build, and it's mostly a gun, fight, a gun fighting build. And it's 14% crit chance, which doesn't display on your DPS, so actually your DPS, my DPS right now are way higher than 174. The 14% crit chance, I'd say, put it to over 190 for sure, I'm quite sure it does. Can't confirm though, but I haven't done the math. But yeah, you need this one, and still the bonus uh, from the Reckless. Reckless uh, give 13% increased damage, probably 14, uh, 14 if you get a level 32. I mean, 204. Uh, let me check. Yep, 204 gear score. Uh, we'll probably increase it by 1% since the glove does the same. And it make you take 10% uh, more damage, but actually they haven't changed it from last patch. So it, it still display 10%. Uh, damage resistance to uh, everything but uh, falling damage or whatever environmental uh, you're, you can put your armor up to 65% now easily because of the green piece and the new like level 32 33 gear which is now stated as gear score uh, so yep, it's uh, it make you even tankier. You really want to get 65% or close to it. Like right now, I'm at 64, and uh, because everybody's going to be dealing more damage than than 1.1. So yep, it's definitely going to be a good thing if you can uh, bring up either your health or your resistance. Uh, but you really need your armor to be high. It's re really easy. The way to achieve it is putting uh, armor on Ulster. That's the best thing you can put on the Ulster. With all three stats, unfortunately, 
uh, right now the loot system make it uh, way too hard to get like a skill attribute on the bottom and everything you need on top. It will take a while, I can tell. Especially, uh, you guys probably heard about the, the cheesy way to uh, be challenge mode incursion. So without it, I think they will have to buff the loot uh, drop on it to make it so every people can get uh, close to each other, even those that miss this glitch, uh, this exploit. Uh, yep, you put armor on ulster and armor on chest. I'm still wearing my old chest with uh, exotic damage resilience. I'm not sure if you can... I've seen some chest drop with two uh, mod slot. Never got a good one though, but if you can get one drop with two mod slot, because you can't roll the second one if you only have one, uh, will be the way to go. But exotic damage resilience is actually something I like. Uh, I'll show you why later on. So yeah, basically for set piece, you can either go with the sentry or whatever. Where is it at? The striker. The striker is pretty good. Uh, it's pretty hard to roll a good one. Like I've been lucky. I actually got the backpack from some people that already had one, or I traded something for it. Because uh, they always roll firearm like this one. You can't roll it, uh, drop it with stamina and uh, or electronic. Because I think it's pretty dumb the way they made it. But yeah, I guess it doesn't give you much customization unless you are very lucky and got one with skill power and you can actually re-roll the stamina or the skill power or the electronic on it. Uh, yeah, I got pulse crit damage on this one. Very lucky because uh, you can't re-roll them. Unfortunately, like I said, uh, you very ne you really need to remove the firearm your piece unless you're building your gun firearm but uh, again I'd say firearm is still uh, not a thing you want on every piece like they're giving you I'm wearing knee pads with firearm right now I'm trying to get a good roll I'm crafting them but they are really expensive and I'm running out of uh, fabric all the time because they cost 22 uh, but uh, basically, I'm still worrying those because the set bonus is too good and uh, it can increase my DPS by a lot I would rather have a higher skill power, 40, up to 40,000 with uh, probably uh, electronic, at least 40,000, because it will, it would bring my cooldown down to uh, 20 seconds on the healing, which is uh, life-saving if you're running solo and you don't have a triage, <laughs> you're not with a group and you don't, you guys don't have triage to reduce your cooldown. Uh, that's why I'm running strike back, because right now I'm solo. Uh, it's really more uh, it's way more useful than triage i'm still using the same perk by the way the same talent i still think they're the best one uh quick thing this one is good in pve but uh it's actually glitch right now or i don't know since uh, they brought the update for 1.1 1 .1, uh every time i get a headshot with my last bullet and it refiled it my gun is actually stuck at one bullet and I can't fire. I need to switch gun and bring it back to half his magazine every time I do it. I don't know if it does that to you, but I got but I got some friend that confirmed it uh, to me that it does that to them also. So I don't know. Uh, right now, it's, I don't think it's really usable and it's getting really tricky when you play with it. So, yep, uh, I'm still going for skill power on the mask. Uh... Skill power on the backpack, crit damage on the knee pad, shock resistance, disrupt resistance, uh, those are my two favorite for PvP, and uh, burn resistance is actually very good because people are using a lot of consum consumable to stop you when you're rogue, and it's really annoying. I hate you whoever <laughs> was watching it and is doing it to people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I said, skill attribute, I'm not uh, very lucky. I haven't been really lucky so far to get a good one. Most critical damage is what I would go. Uh, because it's really hard to reach max even with 40,000 skill power. It won't be max unless you have uh, pulse critical damage on pieces. Uh, that's about it for this build. Beside, you can put on... I can put on the striker if two of my friends, for example, are using the sentry, which might be a little better, uh, or even on NPCs because they stand still, the set bonus is very good, 1% uh, extra damage. So if you're not missing, uh, it doesn't go down, it just goes up. 
And for the big boss that stands still, it's really, really easy to get uh, uh, to get it high. Like you can get it up sometimes to 50% or even higher if you're making sure you're accurate. On PC, it might be better for those who uh, got very, very good aim. Uh, on Xbox, because of the aim assist and stuff, sometimes it's tricky. But you can, I can still bring it up to 50-60% uh, a lot of time. Uh, I'm still using my old vector. Haven't uh, tried to craft much uh, recently. I got two good roll. One that is for uh, uh, close close uh, uh, damage when you're close. The other one is uh, headshot damage, which is probably better f with, if I use it with this build. But at the same time, I don't know because uh, since I already got headshot damage bonus, deadly uh, values increase. Uh, I'll keep those for now. Uh, there's a new blueprint that just came out today, actually a 204 vector. Because they just refreshed the blueprint, you can buy a new one. I'll need to craft a new one, but again, uh, running low on uh, material like fabric and uh, division tech. So it's very hard to craft stuff. Uh, there's a new Valkyrie. I haven't bought it. I heard it's good. I've looked at the stat. It seems pretty decent. I'm gonna craft it with this one because my other character doesn't have much uh, material to craft. So I'm gonna play with this one. It's my second, my all character. So I'm just waiting for level 90 to craft one and try it out. So yeah, basically that's all about it for this build. I can show you how effective it is against uh, NPCs and player. Hopefully, there's rogues. Lucky last time there were some. System rebooted. Since, since the mask is fixed, uh, dark zone. rehabilitated, uh, there's one, uh, it's really, really uh, hard to, like, uh, you, uh, it's not hard, sorry, <laughs> I was confused, I was thinking about something else. Uh, skill cooldown is really useful to keep yourself drops. alive. Yeah, that accuracy was terrible, I'm gonna give him a chance Warning. to shoot me. I don't think he's going to, rogue. it was terrible, sorry about that. Uh shooting me so yeah to keep yourself alive you want uh, as low as possible cooldown which is 20 seconds a couple seconds if you get body shot I was hitting 6,500 at the end this guy has decent armor uh, when you get when I get the three mark I can get uh, up to 15,000 and uh, over sometime if the people probably don't have a 60% damage mitigate but uh, I was doing 50 uh, 15,000 on the uh, the head of uh, level 99. He probably had decent gear. I'm running the counter pulse right now because since we don't have rehab rehabilitated to uh, heal ourselves, I don't want to uh, get uh, pulsed by somebody and get nuke in an instant. I prefer negating their pulse effect and having a slightly lower bonus of, for my pulse. Chopper is inbound. Uh, slightly uh, lower bonus for my pulse and. Uh, actually negate the pulse effect of the other players so their pulse is just pretty much uh i should i should have left that right here the panic click your supply drop there might be more player sorry about the accuracy again that's my first uh game uh, i just restart right now i'm playing so morning readings indicate this area is contaminated i just gotta get warm up Yep, the pulse, uh, the, this pulse is a most, you, you, if you play in a group, you want somebody to has it. Preferably, so the one with the low skill power, so somebody with high skill power can run the pulse that gives better damage to increase the whole group damage. Finisher. Hopefully there's people on the supply drop, it's, it was red, so there's definitely people. Yeah, by the way, if it's red, people are close to it. Nearby drop site has been cleared by uh, there's blueprints for gloves on the first safe room, a 204 glove if you want to uh, buy them. There's blueprint for a new vector on third safe room. Oh, there's a rogue, let's go. Hopefully you won't get in the entry place. Pulse myself. You salute me, I don't care. I'm being terrible. People, uh, yeah, as you see, I hit the 15,000 on this one. Someone following me. A reload. Uh, I like when when you go rogue. Uh, you really like to bring people in uh, 
close area like this with one door because you know they're gonna be in the door and you make so it make sure like all your bullets will hit them so if there's like four guy chasing you you might not want to phase them in the middle of a street or open area like this one just make sure they're following you since there's a delay uh you see what the other guy's doing in his screen he might be two feet uh further uh so actually he don't know when you turn around to shoot him like right now i'm gonna turn around i can get like some clear shot because the guy might not be moving uh most of the time and he goes down he will go down pretty quickly i'm using some doing oh, there's some more i don't have my pulse oh yeah i'm gonna make them follow me turn around and kill them which is my favorite thing I like close area like this because it's really hard to really hard to aim at players when they're in close on that area like this one. I think they just bought their shield. using explosive ammo yeah like you see the 65% damage mitigation the armor and everything make me hard to kill uh, especially if I have this neg pulse negator on me uh, see they start filing and try to kill them all hopefully it works I might die though not right now I'm gonna try to stay alive Make them follow me. I can always jump back in my healing thing. Oh no, I don't have the right grenade on. Okay. Yeah, just went back in my healing. Swap grenade quickly. Bring them right here. Like you hear them saying some strong, um, uh, I'm hard to kill. It's because I got a lot of resistance, a lot of HP. I will stay here to show you the, the, potential, uh, the potential of this build by fighting them. Or I can do it. Uh, they just pop shield. I'll have to get out. But yeah, they have a really hard time killing me right now, I can tell. Still have shield up. You can heal yourself pretty quickly. I'm only at 24 second cooldown right now. I'm gonna bring it up to uh, 20 second. Down to 20 second, sorry. <laughs> okay, I got my negation up. Can't come back. A good fight. You can see the mark on top of their head right now. It's uh, a blue mark, and it uh, with the more more the more you shoot them in the head, the more logo they have. They can have up to three. Oh no, my melee can't kill him. I'm gonna run a little bit. One. Supply drop timer has expired. I almost have my. Both ready. He's not coming, I thought he was coming. He's standing still. I think he got a wall, but I can't see it. Okay, uh, that's all about this build right here. Uh, I killed everybody, got lucky, I guess. Not really lucky, they were not doing enough damage they are definitely not running an optimal setup like poles counter poles and everything uh sorry again for that terrible accuracy i don't know what's going on when i make video it's even worse than usually but <laughs> yeah uh that's pretty much about it uh for this build thanks for uh watching um